War. War has been updated with HD graphics and audio remastering. Vinny Caravella, what the heck is going on here? Ben Pack, only the dead have seen the end of HD updates. Uh, this is, uh, yeah, this is, uh, this is, hey, Age of Empires. Hey. Hey, 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 what hey. is war? Hey, 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 hey war. <laughs> what are you, what are you good for? I hear absolutely nothing. I hear uh, about a, a 77 on Metacritic. Hey, oh, we're here. I hear playing. about $20 on, uh, <laughs> on Steam, uh, Windows Store, or on, uh, free on the, if you're a subscriber to that Xbox Game Pass for PC. Age, Age of Empires, Empires 3, III. definitive <laughs> yes. edition. Uh, definitive, you might remember last year, uh, time has become very irrelevant to me, so I don't know if it was last year or two years ago at the moment, um, but they released uh, Age of Empires 2, definitive edition. Oh, that's true. Hey, Ben, Ben, wait, wait. Uh, I, don't, I don't know... Oh boy, how am I going to make this work? I don't know what the graphics in Age of Empires 2 is going to be like, but I do know Age of Empires 3 is going to be fought with HD sticks. Nope, that didn't work. That was cool. Um, that was fun. Aim for effort. I'm going to go okay, ahead and thank say. You. All right. Um, well, you're in Age of Empires 3 Definitive Edition uh, yes. playing here on the, on the, uh, this is the Steam version? This is the Steam version on my personal computer. Um, okay. it is available, uh, only on PC right now. It's part of Game Pass if you're so inclined. Um, so Vinny, Game I'm Pass not- PC. Yes. Uh, I am not the, the most knowledgeable person in the world when it comes to Age of Empires. Um, okay. But in my brief research, here is what I've kind of figured out about Age of Empires and its legacy. So Age okay. of Empires 2 comes out, and it's kind of universally hailed as a huge achievement for the RTS genre. That's the one I really love. Yeah, and most people who played them all like really fondly remember 2. Yeah. Age of Empires 3 comes out, People yeah. were less psyched. Um, <laughs> That's the one I don't remember as well. <laughs> yeah. So a lot of things happened with it. Um, one of the major things was the introduction of hero units here. You can see I have General Kichiro and the Daimyo Mototada. Nailed um, it. Wow. I didn't know you spoke Japanese. I am quite good at it. <laughs> <laughs> Superb. Okay. Um, and you see here, so basically, um, it started making going in the way of like Warcraft 3, you know, kind of focusing more on micro and stuff like that. You, uh, one thing you can notice right out the gate if you're like a huge AOT, AOE 2 person uh, is that there is one fewer resource. I am not gathering any stone. Mm. Um, and you. there's a lot of other little things, but basically that was kind of the legacy between the two games. And then there was AOE 4, which I don't know anything about. Well, we're here for the third and we're the, the, the HDification of the, the high uh, definitive edition, not HD. Definitive, uh, definitive edition. Definitive edition. But it is HD. I mean, like, these are, <laughs> they, re, they redid their textures. They redid um, a lot. They did a lot of the similar work as they did with 2D, which is um, better looking, better music, uh, sound effects, voice lines, all of it, um, as well as um, some other things that they've done. They added a couple new um, empires. Mm -hmm. There is a uh, Swedish group, mm -hmm. Swedish the Swedes, group. the Swedes, um, and the Inca. Is that right? The, the Inca, yeah. And it's okay, Ben. On the on the official Age of Empires uh, change log, they call them new playable civs. So okay. you are you are clear. I did say, say civs <laughs> earlier, but I was like, oh, that's a, maybe a sore <laughs> subject. I don't know if that's like contentious, but yeah, they do call them civs. There's a lot on this change log, by the way. There's no way you could possibly have all this memorized but um it is it is quite a list of uh, balance changes and uh, uh changes so on and so forth yeah and i think one of the coolest changes which i could touch on later is they actually went back and um worked with the first nations organization to kind of correct a lot of the mistakes they made uh in the campaign for the um native american uh you know they like had just straight yes. up had some of the like uh, yes, they have changed the name the... of the the Sioux to the L uh, Lakota or Lakota. Yeah. I don't know how to pronounce that it. That seems but, like uh, a big one to me. Yeah. They changed the Iroquois to the uh, Haudenosaunee, uh, uh -huh. which, uh, wow, I hope I'm saying that one right. Uh, yeah, they've, they've, they've fluent, changed it. <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh, yes, uh, I am uh, fluent. 
in uh, messing stuff up. It's a, it's a, I've studied many years. So yeah, I think I think a lot of that stuff is is interesting to go back in and uh, overall just kind of be like, well, we really didn't do as much research on this as we should. And right now is a good opportunity to do that, especially when you get the name maybe of the entire uh, uh, representation wrong. So th that, in addition to what is just like lists of other uh, balance changes on here, which I'm not even going to go into, but because uh, I'm not sure. Have you, did you play a lot of three? At I the time? did not play three at all. I was mostly in on two, and when I say mostly in, I really didn't know much about it other than I liked building a bunch of archers and stuff and sending them at my friends. Um, yeah. Um, so you know, two came out in I, well, I think it's '99. And three came out in like 2005, and I was right. in much different places, uh, and so was the kind of industry at that point. Yeah, uh, I was reading that they kind of uh, went towards more of a 3D look rather than like really nice 2D, which, I mean, two, I didn't fully understand that, but like uh, basically the way they worked the models was a lot different, and because of it you got like some weirdness uh so part of the reason this game wasn't so well received also is it's a little jink mm. um combat is kind of wonky your units don't always move the way you think they should mm. uh, especially at sea uh boat combat is real you get a lot of just like boats moving around just like kind of like this not really knowing where to go um oh the pathfinding may be a little off yeah um, well can you can you kind of take me through what you got going on here yeah, so this is the campaign. Um, this is the Japan uh, saga that's right out the gate. There's a Spanish saga, a uh, Native American saga, and a, a Japanese saga. And kind of right now, my goal here, so we see we have, I'm, let me just pause for a second. Oh, that covers that up. Uh, we got a primary objective, destroy the Osaka Town Center. That's right here. Okay. Um, and then you get some secondary objectives here, not mandatory, but very helpful. Um, and often grant you bonuses, like bonus units or, um, you know, like resources. Um, so right now I'm kind of just doing the very basic Age of Empires 2 stuff. I'm making sure I'm pumping out <laughs> workers as much yeah. as I can, having them mine food, coin, in your, and wood. Get your economy up. Your early yeah. economy. Exactly. Uh, 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 basically my goal right now is to build a force big enough that I can take out this tower and these units here which i don't think i think it'd be too close right now with the group i've got so ben the thing that i realized in i, I played some of this as well to, to check it out and uh refresh my memory and in doing so uh recall that i did not play much of this at all uh back in the day so the thing that here you are inside your town and your yeah. deck your deck yes. ben so that's another thing that this game did that two did not um is add this system of uh, cards. And, uh, oh, hi, my, my neighbor is at war currently with his lawn, so I had to shut the window. <laughs> the ever, that, it's, a, it's a never, uh, it's the forever war. Really. Um, so basically, you can build a deck, and these, okay, let me back up here. Yeah. Uh, everything you do gives you experience. Yeah. Um, experience slowly fills this little circle meter up, and mm -hmm. once it fully fills up, you can call in a home city shipment. Um, and based which uh, on which civilization you are, you know, this is the first age, the second age, third, fourth, you can call in bonus units, you can call in bonus villagers, just yeah. straight up resources, food, coin, some upgrades, like, you know, they farm from uh, rice patties faster and stuff like that. Uh, it used to be you, over the course of playing the game, unlocked all the cards and then built your own deck. Uh, okay. Customized your own deck. Back up here, I can get some yeah. cover from this castle. Um, but the, one of the changes they made for Definitive Edition is right out the gate, you have access to all of those. Um, okay. Okay. Which I think is a nice change. Some, some people are... are um, upset about it. The, the reviews for this game are quite mixed, and I think a lot of it comes from people just don't like AoE 3. Oh. Um, <laughs> less that this like, isn't a great port. There, there yeah. are some bugs. Uh, the online has been a little laggy. The one time I hmm. hopped in, it was a little laggy. Um, 
But but do you get the sense that some people are like, yeah, it's still AOE three. Like yeah. that's uh, you know that's gonna knock off some points right out of the gate. Yes. Um, especially like because two DE came out and two is such a loved game and people were so into that version they were maybe thinking like, oh yeah. Three DE is going to be just as good, but maybe the core game isn't as good. You know? Can I uh, can I give you my hot take? Please. Okay. I I also don't like a zoomed in camera, and I also don't like hero unit style stuff. I don't like small squad hero unit stuff. I uh, I kind of got out of the RTS game. I think the Warcraft when that Warcraft three stuff came out, and I was like, why is this camera so tight in here? Why am I only controlling like five units at a time? And what? Not a fan. Yeah, um, I like it, but that's just because the first RTS I really got into was Warcraft 3. Um, you know, I'm slightly... Yeah. I'm of a different age. Listen, Let's things see. have things change, things evolve, you know? Yeah, can't just, but I get can't it. can't just build Tanya's forever and sneak them in the back of a base and expect the world's just gonna be okay with that. Like, you gotta, <laughs> you gotta, you know, some at some point, you gotta make the Chinook the hero, you know? That's right. Um... Why do I have these samurai over here? Oh, right, these are my home city shipment guys, and they just are stuck? No, okay, there they go. Um, so what I did right here just now is I advanced my age. You know, uh, different civilizations need different things. Uh, Japan needs you to build these um, monuments, or wonders. Um, I'm building the Tori Gates. And once I'm in the next age, I can start pumping out some siege units here. Um, so a lot of a lot of standard stuff from AOE two kind of carries over. You know, you you have units and buildings locked behind certain um, levels of, of of your town or ages rather. Um, upgrades and such. Yeah. The thing that I didn't realize that. Um Oh, man, this is, I, I, you know, it's been a while. I, I played Age of Empires 2 probably around the time it was out and a little beyond that and a couple of games that were based off of Age of Empires 2. But you can't, um, in this one when I was playing it, I spent too long of a time on the first campaign mission being like, why won't my people garrison in these towers? Why won't they Why won't they <laughs> climb these walls? Why won't my soldier archers get on top of these walls? Right. What is the button command to get these troops inside this thing? And um, I don't think it's in here. Or at least some of that. Yeah, it's one of the issues with this game is it is dense. It is like even understanding the meta systems is a ton of work, and then on top of that, you need to understand the nuances of each of the individual civilizations. And I don't know, man. It's it's a lot. Seemed like, um, it felt like I was missing something. So uh, hopefully I am. Uh, and maybe there's only certain buildings that garrison, but the walls look like they should have, they had parapets and, and places for troops. And my archers, and my crossbowmen, whatever they were, were not climbing. There were ladders, Ben, leading to those walls and those walkways. And uh, I couldn't get them up there. And that was, um, I don't know. What maybe to tell that's you, a Vinny. nuance I missed, but I'm Maybe I'm you didn't you. train your soldiers on how to use a ladder well enough. <laughs> That's true. That's true. It was a very early age. They might not have had that tech. All right. We are about to start escalating so, things here. So some general, I mean, we don't have to talk about what an RTS is, but uh, you still have, it looks like, um, population RTS. limits. You still yes. are, always build villagers and settlers. And you get these numbers here that show you kind of how many villagers you have on each job. Um, so you can see, I could probably use more guys uh, cutting wood. You have this button here that helps hop you to your idle villagers. Right. Um, which is super helpful, you know, making sure, like, it's easy to lose track if you have somebody go off and build something and then forget. Yes. Um, uh, are you using the uh, classic UI, default UI, or the Yeah, you know, one? let's look at those. Um, because you are prompted when you first uh, start to look at the different... Whoa! UI options. It doesn't look like I can maybe change it in game. I went with. <laughs> well, definitive. there's the there's a sign on the right at the HUD layout there. But yeah, I yeah. I can't I can't click it. Um, <laughs> but definitive is what they did with two. Um, mm -hmm. Definitive, which I think is the way to go. Like they, they gave you a, they they showed what each of them looked like at the beginning and was like which one of these do you want? Yeah. Um, and I think yeah two is the is the way to go. Let's get a couple samurai. What do I need for these guys? I need more gold. 
And then we'll be good to go here soon. I can, uh, you know, I've got a market here. I can sell food. I have way too many people harvesting food. Let's get you on that. Let's get you on the wood. Okay. Um, oh, the... Well, your time with it. What do you think? Are you do uh, somebody uh, who has it played Definitive Edition 2 and now Definitive Edition 3? Yeah. Uh, what do you think? I... So I've learned a lot more about Age of Empires by playing this, and we'll get into the Art of War stuff. I think it's really good at teaching you how to play. Um, unfortunately, I think what this has gotten me to want to do is um, play more AoE 2. Okay. Okay, fair enough. Um, I think this game is fine. I like uh -huh. hero units. I like microwing. I'm a Dota player. Like, that's the name of the game. But, um, uh -huh. you know, I think that, like, 2 is just kind of so perfect in a lot of ways. And when I started playing 2 Remastered and started remembering how fun it was and then started playing this one and being like, oh, yeah, 2 remaster or 2 Definitive Edition was really good. It was a kind of a good sign of, like, maybe I wanted to go back and, and play that one more. But I think if you liked 3 back in the day, like, this is seemingly a decent purchase here. All right, let's go fight. The, you know, I, 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 is over. Uh, Age of Empires 2, um, I guess, sounds like a lot of people revere. I, I, I don't really, I haven't looked back too much, but, man, I played a lot of the, I don't know if you ever played Galactic Battlegrounds, which was the Star oh, Wars yeah, game based a off little of bit. Uh, uh, one and two, um, those games, which were pretty good. Okay. All right. What are we doing? We're being a. How did he even get units over here? Mom, sneaky. What the heck? Oh. Riders. All right. And this is where the this is where the fun part of the game comes in. Is where you're starting to like have to worry about multiple fronts you know you're still the game encourages you to constantly be exploring because another thing that they added to this game uh versus two is treasures mm -hmm. which what, are tre treasures weren't into like the little pickups on the map weren't into i believe maybe oh, I'm, I, I, wrong, listen, I, I don't I, i'm genuinely that. asking I, i'm not that i remember uh, one way or the other just i believe that it, is new because the whole okay. thing is like a lot of heroes have special powers where they can kill treasure guardians in one yeah. shot okay so if I keep... I've played this one before. Um, I keep going around this way. Okay. Oh, yeah. Cool. Uh, so we, we did the this bonus objective here, which was destroy those outposts down here. Mm. And now we've got an NPC character kind of leading the charge uh, because of that. So do you, ha do you have three shipments available? Three cards you could... I do. Um I do, and I should I should be doing those. But again, it's just another thing to be on top of. I know there's a, there's a lot. When I was playing this as well, I, unless it was like in the specifically called out, like, dude, hit your ship. <laughs> I was like, oh right, yeah, that's a thing in this, isn't it? In fact, I, the the very first Art of War for defense is like, okay, do a home city shipment, and I just was like, I don't know how, and I spent <laughs> so long trying to figure it out. I spent multiple times. Uh. Yeah, the the Art of War stuff I think is neat. They make you watch it. We'll get into it, but they make you watch a little video before, and then you kind of, um, then you actually play it, and they talk some more. Uh, so, like, making sure you don't just zone out and alt-tab to something else while that video is playing was my biggest problem. Yep. Oh, I know. <laughs> Which is, like, just, you know, like, all right, going to play this video. Oh, okay, this is, let's go check the news. Uh, Turns out the, like, the first sorry, thing what? in the Art of War is pay attention to your pay teacher. Attention to, yeah, right, exactly. I think I can actually just... Oh, no. Okay, so if I destroy these gates, I'll be able to get in and get the town center. And See, it doesn't look like people should be walking on those walls. That's, that's just what I'm saying. Oh, it really just, does, just, especially with, like, this little, you know, yeah. lip here. And these. Where are they all, Ben? Where are they? And there are outposts, but I think, yeah, I think it's not something you manually load. Get the population up. Oh, you guys have stopped working entirely. I could advance to the next age if I wanted. You know, each of the wonders mm. kind of has different benefits. Um, bonuses for your shrines, bonuses for your war units, your ships, etc. Yeah, we just kind of burn, burn it. 
Ben, when this game came out, I was, um, it was right before I started working at GameSpot. Oh, wow. Yeah, I, uh, this is 2005, right, I think? Uh, and I started there 2006, I want to say, so, um, when 2 came out, I was in college, I was wrapping up college. Just what year did 2 come out? 1999. Oh, baby, I was... Yeah. Not even in middle school. <laughs> I was in the, sitting in college in college dorms playing Age of Empires 2 on a LAN. Uh, those are heady days, Ben. Ignoring your instructors, trying to teach. It's just. I it's was learning circle. for real. I was learning. <laughs> I was learning the art of. I was learning all of these things that uh, now probably have to be retconned and changed. But uh, this that was a real education, Ben. Yeah, I only learn from TV and MTV. <laughs> All right, come on. Break this wall down. Wait, why are they... There we go. Nice, you're Get in. in there. They're doomed. I gotta say, I'm doing this one a lot faster than I did before because I, I was like sending units all the way around here. There's some stuff over mm. here. There's some captive units up here you can free. Um, I was talking to you a little bit. Oh, shit, we got some fights uh there's definitely an element of play a campaign level once just to kind of figure out where everything is and then you can maybe get into it for real and try and beat it All yeah definitely like you, you learn you learn especially in the campaign you learn what the beats are and they're gonna bring reinforcements in here and they yeah. uncover this thing on the map uh what are you using when on my control scheme that i defaulted to um yeah WASD was not move the map around. The arrow keys were move the map around. What are you using to cycle this? Are you just clicking in I'm the just mini map? Dragging and clicking the mini map, yeah. Okay. Dota style. Um, hey, units have been taken care of. Now we just burn this town center. <laughs> do, do what you gotta do. Hey, it's uh Hey. It's a, it's not age of friendship. <laughs> that's right. I didn't come here to make friends, I came here to win. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, sorry, in my view that you are, uh, that I am watching now, I do not see your mouse, so... Oh, yeah. Uh, so I, I, oh, but, I'm just kind of doing some screen yeah. scrolling. Screen scrolling. You got some more shipments, I don't think you need them. I don't need them. Dang, you just I've got some it. experience. Woo! Wow, they're just, they're just going, they're bloodthirsty. Yeah, I mean... <laughs> hey, hey, we won, well. we got it. We're good. The, then you can build there, right? Uh, so here's a deck builder like I was talking about. You can kind of mm -hmm. like create a deck, call it cool deck. Nice deck. That's a cool deck. Thank you. And then you can be like, okay, on the first stage, I want this, 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 and this. Oh, wow. What Second a good stage, I want these, et cetera, et cetera. Oh. Um, not that robust, but, you know, still cool. It's a layer. It's a layer. Yeah. So I want to hop in and show off one of these. I want to, I want to get gold, a gold medal wow. on the home city shipments. So I actually beat this and it didn't save. I beat this and this the other night and it didn't save my progress. Okay, um, that's a shame. So a bummer. So again, when you start these, if Here, you yeah, haven't gone into it yet, you have to watch the little video, uh, which is fine. It's good. You know, it's probably for the best. Yeah, I mean, you get all von, von Klausowitz in here. <laughs> Yeah, your for better or worse. Just that, a town. You are on a mission from your homeland. Therefore, your home city will supply you, you to get help it. you complete. He talks. I get he it. He you tells you stuff. tells you what you need to do, and then when you jump in, he talks some more. But now you have control. <laughs> okay, getting golds in these very difficult. You got to be like really yeah. playing oh, so everything fast. on point. Um, so we're gonna we're gonna try and do it here. I've done this one like. A dozen times by now. I did this. Um, I did this last night. You gonna go get the rhinos? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So okay, got this guy. I got this guy. The envoy goes down here. <laughs> when I this stuff. When I looked this, up, when I started doing this, because it didn't. I don't think it explained it. Or again, maybe I just wasn't paying attention. So what the hell does the envoy do? Yeah, <laughs> I had to look it up. Uh, use, but he just says just use your envoy. Yeah. Okay, okay. I'm gonna hotkey this guy, assign him to control group one. All right. Because I know there's right. a treasure over here. So Von, Von Klauschwitz is, uh, is kind of telling you what you, kind of giving you recommendations during all this, which is very helpful. Uh, but you've done this uh, multiple times. I, I have. 
So I used his his active ability there to kill the treasure guardian. Yep. Uh, meanwhile, I had my envoy go find some spare buffalo. I did not know whatever. the envoy can like herd animals. Mm-hmm. Wait, is, the, is that a special envoy well, thing, no, or can any so settler herd a- animals? Any settler can herd certain types of animals. Oh. There are animals that if you just kind of get in proximity to them, they will become yours. These guys won't. Oh, wow. And you gotta like you can, you can fire from behind to drive them into your camp. Is that what the right. first art of war is? Wow. All right. Now, uh, like lambs okay, to the okay, slaughter. Okay. Let them yeah. go. Envoy goes over here. So this mission is t- teaching you about trade routes. Trade routes are kind of like natural things that if you build a trading post near. Okay. Fight these monkeys real quick. You don't have your ability. That's okay. These monkeys are weak. <laughs> They're just monkeys. <laughs> um. Okay, I've I've not yet done this. While Keep building those to troops. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We still we slowly got these guys coming Dave, out. Do not let off the gas. I'm telling you to constantly be building those settlers, which you know probably is a very good thing. But they're, do what are you doing? Build settlers. Okay, 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 okay. Why can't I just queue up? Like, where do you get the resources? Just let me do that then. Oh, home city shipment. Oh, oh, oh. I need the wood. Because I get the wood, and then it helps me build the yeah. trade post faster, yeah. which helps yeah, yeah. me get experience faster. Yeah. Yeah, these gold medals are not, uh, are not gimmies. Yeah. Oh, you got, you need, you need him to build the, uh, the trading post though, right? Well, he can't, he can't build, I just need, oh no, 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 get out of there. <laughs> doesn't, uh, doesn't your work. super unit have to build the trading post, or can a settler? No, a, a, a lowly settler can do it. Um, oh. I just need the cords of wood to be delivered, which is almost <laughs> happening. I need more units. I have five on gold, that's fine. Oh, I need this guy. Oh boy. Okay, there's more treasures to be had. Okay, get the cords of wood. Okay. So, basically you get, like, these hyper, um... They're basically, um resources that you harvest at an extreme rate. Um, So when you order like 300 wood, you still have to harvest it. It just harvests really fast. All right, they're good. They're good. Start chopping. Pretty soon we'll have this trading post going. All right. What's your next step here? So there's a treasure down here and there's an enemy trading post to the south. Are you going to fight these guys with him? I am, but I'm going to do a little (gasps) shoot and run. I'm just going to pop him. Oh, (laughs) Run yeah, away, wait for this to recharge. Okay. Hello? I basically don't need my envoy anymore, because I know there's one more treasure, like, right yeah, here. Yeah, okay. And then an enemy squad that you're supposed to kill down here. Yeah, and the rhinoceroses. Okay, I need to make... I need to start kind of, like, bringing these animals closer also. Is this done yet? God damn it. <laughs> oh, what? Next- no, they ran up! I was behind them! Oh. You got your next shipment. Oh, yeah, yeah, good call, Vinny. And so let's get some... Yeah. Pussars. So we're gonna get some units to take out the last of the, um... Does he have his thing yet? No, not he doesn't. Yet. Not yet. Soon, though. Okay, the trading post is up. I probably just should have sent two villagers to build this trading post even faster. Because you can stack units, you know, on that. Yeah, you know, two idle units. I'm feeling silver on this one, though. Oh, no, I think you're right. Yeah, I'm, feeling, I'm feeling a solid silver. What happened? Okay, you know what? Let's just build a barracks. Those rhinoceroses are no joke. They are not a joke. You are correct. <laughs> Okay, is there only one guy left? Yeah, I think you can just fight him for real. Okay. And, and your hero finished. unit goes down but not out, right? It just takes forever to come out. Yes, they die but then very slowly respawn. Okay, I got my horseman. horseman. Are you going for the, the patrol? Uh, not yet. But soon. All right. How am I on gold? I'm good on gold. Um, fun little... Touch here is the uh, oh no, what? Well, he's getting worked. Yeah. Oh, there were two. There was a second guy hiding. Oh, this, is, this is a bronze. bronze. No way. Okay, it's fine. We can recover from this because we can still have. Okay, these villagers are done. I'm sending one to go get the treasure. I'm sending another one to chop trees. Let's get some know. units. To me. She can't get the treasure until they're done. No, she can't, but they're gonna be done soon. Oh man, that's a bummer. Cause now I can't get the rhinos. I know, they're real. Well, and that guy's not gonna heal in time, right? 
no. Just send all your Come villagers. Ten all, seconds. Send, send all your villagers to go get the uh, the rhinos. All right. Everybody, this is an emergency. Some of us will not make it back. I have enough everything that if this goes yes. wrong, I'll be fine. You're fine. It's all or nothing, folks. We're here for the silver. Envoy, I know you can't attack, but you can get in on this, too. Everybody, let's do this. Okay, and then we have the enemy trading post. <laughs> it hurts. <laughs> oh, my knee. Uh, oh, they're How are you doing? It. Here we go. Okay. Get them. Oh. They're not doing good. <laughs> no, no, they, uh, well, listen, a couple, like, uh, some people in the front there are gonna really not make it back, but as long as the folks in the, in the background. Okay, you got the pikemen, they're probably pretty good on rhinoceros. Yeah, maybe. yeah, yeah, yeah. Guys wanna move a little faster, maybe? Every, your whole village is dying. I, mean, I love how the over. music swells like this when you're, like, in combat. It's really cool. Zoom in there, let's see, let's see that, uh, the hippo that fight? Ho horrible, uh, yeah. Oh, you know, man. they're the deadliest animal in the world. Look at this. Look at this. This is terrible. This is making me sad. It's like watching my dog fight for treats. <laughs> I hope not. This is, uh... Yeah, call All right. somebody. Okay, we can ignore that last hippo, or even maybe, maybe use him to our advantage here. Yeah. 40 seconds? Uh, I definitely got it, right? You're, you're gonna pit the rhino against the... You're gonna have the, the three factions at each other. <laughs> it's just like Far Cry. Oh, these villagers do not give up. I'm so proud of them. Look at them. <laughs> yeah, I, I forgot that they have little muskets. You know? Yeah. Okay. Look at this. Okay. Yeah. Oh, the, man. Get the treasure, get the you're never going to make this. Okay. You 16 have, seconds? You have no okay. shot at the silver. No way, dude. I got it. Wait, you didn't get the secondary I objectives. Did. You, you, oh, you, you don't get, need those. All right, fine. As long wow. as you get the primary. Good job. Down to the wow. wire. And you saw, like, that was... I, I made some errors for sure, yeah, but I did not yes. make a lot. <laughs> no, I think. Hey, listen, I'm gonna say, the villagers on the rhinoceros. That was that was the key move. <laughs> that was the deciding factor. I think so. I'm just glad my advise my <laughs> advisors have never let me down here in the theater of combat. Send them all to death. <laughs> Send them all. We need that treasure. Um, um, yeah, that's, that's kind of the, it. You know, the, you've got classic scrimmages. You can play against AI. The online, like I said, it. it I found a match relatively easily, but um, there was some lag when I did like an eight-player free-for-all match. It was okay. like chugging a little bit. Yeah, it's twenty bucks. It's twenty it bucks. It is twenty dollars. Um, I think if you're if you're hankering for some of that uh, Age of Empires three, which uh, I thought maybe I was, but I think after <laughs> playing a little bit of it, I don't think I am uh, as much. But it also, you know, on Game Pass on PC, if you want to get a taste of that, if you want to experience that, maybe I am or maybe I'm not. Uh, if you have Game Pass on PC, you can definitely experience it there. Yeah. Thanks, Ben. Well, thanks, Vinny, and I'll see you in the field of battle. Run, da, da. <laughs>